that won just 15 games a year ago. And here they are as the sixth seed in the East, and Michael Carter-Williams, who was the rookie of the year last year as a member of the Sixers, now running the point for the Bucks. Zaza Pachulia has got the most playoff over on the first possession for Chicago, and the Bucks are number one in the NBA in forcing turnovers. Middleton around and in. Chris Mum, two-point range. Kyle Gasol started the All-Star game for the first time in his career. Average close to 19 per game is most in four years, and a career high in rebounds this year at 12 per contact. Yeah, the Bulls got more than they thought they were going to get out of Kyle Gasol. What a terrific season, as good as he played when he won championship for the L.A. Lakers. Adetta Kumbo on the drive so long. He took just a couple strides from the foul line and found the rim. And now Rose breaking down the D and soaring to the goal. I mean, you talk about the injuries. I mean, what about what Tom Thibodeau, the head coach, has done with his group? I mean, he's got a mash unit over there year after year. Oh, Carter Woods all. Tried to get his own miss after trying a three. But Carter Williams out of there with it. Three on three. Carter Williams able to hit. And a blocking foul is called. So a three-point chance for Michael Carter-Williams. Good for Ursan Ilyasova. Well, there we go. We talked about it. Turnovers lead into transition for Milwaukee that time. Third Bulls turnover leads directly to Ilyasova. Easy jump shot. Seven straight points by the Bucks, but that ends on a great look. 49th career playoff game for Noah. Here's Aaron Brooks, who had a really good year as a scorer off the bench, played in every game for the Bulls. Another great pass by Noah. The throwdown for Butler. Shot. Well, that's the shot they're going to give him, and he's much improved from that mid-range area. He's going to sag, give him that mid-range jump shot. He won't take the three, just took 44 threes on the year, made seven on the season. Uh, that's a, something that's a work in progress. He realizes it, uh, but he's gotten better at that mid-range jet. Not a second difference between game and shot clock. They work it around to Gasol. Can't pay it off on the three. Bat it out to Brooks with one. Let's it fly at the horn. It's good! He banks it in to get the Bulls the lead after one. Dave, Dave I mentioned little point guards when Aaron Brooks made that shot at the end of the first quarter. You remember last year it was DJ Augustine. A couple years ago was Nate Robinson. Yeah. Seems like every time Rose goes down, they find a smaller point guard that saves the day. Tony Snell off the mark on the three. The Bulls have taken ten threes, half of their shots as Brooks blows by Hanson and kisses it. Deep short jumper in the paint. Five point game. Mayo was a guy that averaged 18 a game in Memphis. I mean, he's been a career double digit scorer everywhere he's been. And you're right, he's got to be that energy guy off the bench. That can fill it up for this team. Average 15 per game in April was under 11, though, for most of the year. Heritage banks it in. Rookie 100 after winning just 15 games last year. By the way, uh, Derek Rose has not come back in the game as Henson hangs and banks at home. He's coming now. Great look there by Henson. To Type explosion right there. Six points, three assists for Rose. Carter Williams. And Rose fouled him. Carter Williams with his second three point. Opportunity of the night. First on Rhodes. Fourth on Chicago here in the corner. Well, Tom Thibodeau not happy with this pick and roll coverage. This is supposed to be set down. And that means to the baseline, Miritich comes out and shows and leaves Carter leading to 13 bucks points. How about each team well over 50% from the field? We're talking about the struggles in the four games they met all season. Hovering around the 40% mark, both teams. And it's... Uh, Hot shooting here in Chicago. The weather's getting nice. Bill Kennedy says it was my bad on the inbound, so no turnover. As Middleton off the screen can't get it, tries to get his own miss. Kept it alive for Pachulia. He missed the layup, got it back, and puts it in. And Milwaukee back with it. And Michael Carter Williams, that's nine points for the second year pro out of Syracuse. Now Butler's three is there. Wow. Is from three. Bucks with a chance to cut it to three, maybe two on this possession. Middleton down the lane, scoops. A lot of finished 500 after winning just 15 games a year ago. Think about it. They lost Larry Sanders and Jabari Parker, the number two pick in the draft. Sanders had a lot of issues. And as Rose rattles home a three, and the lead is back to 10. Attempts, attempts in the NBA, Corey Brewer with that distinction. A 7-0 run by Chicago after Milwaukee cut it to three. Here's Mayo with the open three, and he knocks it down.
Yeah, good ball movement. Rose will get it back from Noah. He'll go one-on-one -on -one against Carter Williams here with the shot clock down to four. He'll take the long three. Hit it again! Back-to-back -back triples by Derrick Rose. Milwaukee, the youngest team in the playoff. Average uh, age is 25, but truly is the only player over 30 on this Milwaukee roster. Gasol with a lob to Butler. Taps it to Noah. Beautiful. Noah with the... H Henson is left all alone under the rim. If they go back to Gasol here. Butler. And pounded by Mayo, and the shot clock now at four. Here comes the screen by Noah. Rose, another long three. Another hit! That's three threes for Derrick Rose here in the quarter. A good opportunity. But again, this team, if they're going to get back in the ballgame, it's going to have to be through turnovers, transition, quick opportunities. Their half-court offense is not going to be able to get it done. Brooks nails a three. It, it was good to them for a few times they did it in the third. Got some easy opportunities. Playing through Kyle Gasol is going to make the right play. Rolls almost four minutes now without a point. Oh, nice. Great cut by Butler and finish. <laughs> Team footer. Yeah, now that's a jump shot that Jason Kidd's okay with. That ball gets into the paint. Instead of the quick mid-range jump shots we've seen for the better part of the fourth quarter, dribble penetration, and that sets up the mid-range jump shot, and it's a good one. Rose, double team, got caught in the air and still had the power to fire it to Dunleavy, who drills his second straight three. 